Our guests uh, in this segment, uh, Aiden and Nikki Ramos, it's uh, time for some dumplings, some apple dumplings. And I've had these in the past. They're insanely good. Uh, I uh, My oldest son, who's not particularly fond of desserts, I, I don't know how that happened, um, but I brought home apple dumplings to him once. And he like these, he's like, these are amazing. These are so good. And he's a kid that doesn't really get into sweets. But he did love these uh, apple dumplings put together by the Good Time Show Choir. Aiden and uh, Nikki, good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So uh, how many apple dumplings are we selling? How much do they cost? And uh, when is the sale date? So we'll be You guys sa- stared at each other. <laughs> <laughs> So we um, will be making well over 5,000 dumplings. Um, So each dumpling uh, package will have two dumplings in there. So we'll be selling almost about 3,000 packages. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're going to be $10 each. So you'll get those two dumplings for $10. Five bucks a piece. And we start selling them. Well, we start making them uh, next Thursday, actually, uh, and we start selling them on Saturday, so it's not this weekend, it's the following weekend on on the 12th. Uh, we'll be selling them while we're making them, so if you want them warm, uh, come in from 1 to 6 p.m. on Saturday the 12th, and then Sunday the 13th, we'll also be selling them while we're still making them. Where are you making them? In Martinsburg High School cafeteria. So we'll have them on Sunday from 11 to 6 p.m. Um, and then we'll be selling them all week long uh, the following week from 4 until 8 p.m. in the cafeteria as well. And then we'll also be at the fairgrounds selling it during the Apple Harvest Festival. We'll have a booth there and the kids will be there. They'll perform. And we, we look forward to seeing everyone come out. Aiden, have you made these before? I have. I have. This is my third year going into Good Times, um, and my sister was in it the fall, the year before I came in, so what? I've been doing it for about four years. All right, Chef, what's the key to making a superb apple dumpling? <laughs> I don't think I can tell you the secret recipe, oh. but, <laughs> but... Secret sauce. We're all kind of... It's kind of like a student-led thing. We're all in the cafeteria from bright and early to dark, just peeling apples and stuffing them with like the cinnamon and rolling dough out and putting it on the dumplings and then the dads are show choir dads that like help with it um they cook the dumplings and then they'll bring them out to us and then we'll cool them and then we'll wrap them up put little bows on them and then they're ready for selling what do the apple dumpling moms do uh they they do a lot behind the scenes um they work with uh, actually, like, making the dough and the stuffing and everything. Um, and they help with sales, feeding us during the weeks, too. Mm-hmm. So if you're making 5,000 dumplings and you're there 12 hours, you said? Oh, yeah. Yep, so that's yeah. 420 apple dumplings an hour that you're popping out in the <laughs> assembly line? How many How many people are involved in this process? It's, it's both... Uh, Good Times and Glitch Show Choir. So we're both, um, all the kids that are in that show choir um, are helping with that. And then all the parents, um, we've got alumni that come in and help us. Um, Is this 200 people? It's about 60, I would say. 60 60 people. We've got about 60 kids that will help us. And then uh, in, in addition to the volunteers, we get throughout the weekend, we get about 40 volunteers. So So about 100 total. Yeah, we're, you know, it's a busy house. How many apples are we going through? Uh, we'll be going through um, twenty or fifty six bushels, and each bushel, uh, you know, quick facts about a bushel, it, depending on the size, is about a hundred apples. So we'll be going through fifty six hundred apples. And what kind? What's the preferred apple to use to make a dumpling? We love the Golden Delicious. Golden you know, Delicious. We like to stay West Virginia, so we stay with the Golden Delicious. Who supplies your apples? Uh, Kilmer's, Kilmer's Farmers Market. Um, that's a nice order that you're placing mm-hmm. with them, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so uh, the the apple dumpling is baked at what temperature? It's baked at a strange 314 degrees. Why 314? It's what makes it perfect. It, if we cook it too high, it gets too uh, brown, um, and it burns off the juices, which everyone loves. Um, and if we kick it too low, it just, you know, it, it'll be a little raw on the inside. So some people like that. They like a little crunch in their apple, but we like to keep, 
and keep it right smack in the middle. And it's a hard job for the dads that are in there uh, watching those ovens and making sure that the the syrup isn't overflowing in our ovens and, you know, making them nice and juicy and, and crunchy for everybody. I thought you were going to say... 3.14 is pi. Mm-hmm. I, thought that's, I thought that's where you were going with them. Oh, sure, sure. Maybe that is. <laughs> Pythagorean theorem at work here in the dessert field, Mr. Miller. No, that's exactly where my mind was going as well. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, the, the crust is kind of like a pie crust, so the 3.14, it would work. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aiden, take us through, uh, there's got to be kind of like a an assembly line, so mm-hmm. various stations. Take us from... The, the very first station to where they're pulling them out of the oven. What are kind of the stations? Where can you find yourself on baking day? Yeah. Um, the first day that we uh, start with the apple dumplings, we are all of like the kids are sat at like four, three or four different tables. And our main like leaders, like our president and our vice president of the whole group, they lead like the apple peeling because we all do apple peeling on that thursday or that friday all right i'm going to stop you there tell me about apple peeling is it just a knife and you're spinning it around or you got fancy machines and drill Uh, bits and things to (laughs) spin them quickly and shave the 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 peel off we have there's one at the very end of the table like the start of the table and the leaders will stick an apple into it it's like a contraption that sticks on the end of the table Mm -hmm. and it comes up and it's got like a bit in it and then you stick the apple on it and then you just spin it and it just peels the apple and then you push it down the line and then there's people with the knives to like cut off the extra stuff and then we core the apples too so we can put the special cinnamon into the all right Mm -hmm. so there's step number one Mm -hmm. what comes next um Normally, everyone does apple peeling on the first day because we have to get through so many apples, yeah. and most of like the dough and stuff isn't that ready yet. Okay. Um, but the next day, we come in bright and early, and we have people doing dough rolling. So you take the dough, and you roll it out, and then you stick the cord, uh, like cold apple into there because we freeze them mm-hmm. overnight. And you just wrap it up. We'll have we have people that like help you know how to wrap it so everyone is like uniform and everything is the same. So the dough is already kind of cut to the size that it needs to be able to put an apple in and roll it up. Uh, they normally just give us like a big like Tupperware box of okay. dough, and then you kind of got they give us like ice cream scoopers too. So because right. if the ice cream scoopers that they give us is kind of like the perfect amount, and if you need okay. more, you can just grab a little bit more. Somehow I can smell apple dumplings cooking mm-hmm. right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that aroma. By the way, uh, A.R. Emmert uh, said this segment is dedicated to all of us who suffer from nonstop hunger pains. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Matt Harvey. So how much money is, is raised? Oh, we, I mean, it, it all depends, but this is our biggest fundraiser. Um, we can, we raise about $19,000 doing this. So obviously once we pay off all our ingredients orders and, you know, rentals that we've done, cause we, we get a lot of assistance throughout the community to help produce this. We get our fans. We, we go to the Martinsburg, uh, fire department and we use their fans to help us with the cooling. Um, uh, Tri County Rentals let us use fans there as well. So you know it's it's a lot of donations that help us make it so successful. And this is what makes our our competition season so uh, possible. You know we be we travel to four or five comps throughout the year, and this is what allows us to do I, that. I, I was going to ask that where where is the the money go? And yep, is it just for? I mean, there's probably not a lot of equipment, right, for show choir? No, there is. We 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 put on quite the show choir, so uh, we have quite the show design wow. this year. So Good. definitely, um, our um, our show is going to be um, broadcast uh, in. January. So definitely make sure you check it out. It's it's an interesting theme this year for sure. What is the theme? Cannot tell. Cannot tell. tell. It's, a, it's secret. You uh. got to come out to the show reveal. So <laughs> is this an opportunity while you're coring the apples and rolling out the dough to practice some of your tunes? Oh, yeah. The kids sing the entire time that we are are working, uh, you know, all three days. They're singing. We um, we do a lot of fun events for the kids. We have themes throughout the, the weekend. So, you know. 
they're able to do um you know have fun doing it they're with all their friends they they all get along so they you know it's a it's a really fun event that we put together we're bringing out a karaoke machine this year and what's what's the best is the dads while they're in the kitchen cooking and, and you know working up a sweat being in front of those ovens, uh, they always have their their football on. Good. So they never miss a beat. <laughs> I, I got a question for the for a show choir. Isn't karaoke kind of cheating? Like karaoke, is oh, karaoke yes. for the rest of us that well, can't sing, but for, for show choir kids, that's that seems like they are making. Apple it seems dumplings. like they're cheating there. Yeah. Uh, Sean Wilt, I don't know if that name's familiar to you or not, but he said his daughter was in the Good Times band and helped make these dumplings. He said, I'm almost ashamed to admit the amount of money I spent on these. They are so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I agree with Sean. Yeah. I've had these. They're off the charts, right? So they're $10 for a box. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you pre-order and have someone deliver them to you, or do you got to hoof it and pick them up yourself? Uh, you can you can pre-order them. Um, however, you can just you know show up uh, during the times that and dates that we we mentioned. Yeah, earlier. we can't re review those for us if you would. So please. we will be selling them nice and warm from on Saturday the twelfth from 1 to 6 p.m. and then Sunday the 13th from 11 to 6. And then we'll be selling it throughout the week, uh, Monday the 14th through the 18th from 4 to 8 in the school cafeteria. And then we'll be at the fairgrounds during Apple Harvest Festival. What do you do with the extra? Well, we freeze them. We freeze them. The apple dumplings um, are great. Uh, they freeze very well, um, and then we uh, sell them again during our show reveal. We show them during our festival, which is uh, in March. Mm -hmm. So, but they freeze well, and we recommend anyone that would want them for the holidays grab extras and freeze them. I've done they that too. Yeah, freeze great. Yeah. So, does the package include best ways then to thaw them and reheat them? Yeah, we're going to include that this year. Okay. We've had many people ask us over the years. You know what? what what temperature? How long should I cook? Three hundred and fourteen degrees. <laughs> we now know. Well, that's to make them so. Oh, I don't want to reheat them. Yeah, okay. yep. and they and they um, are served great with nice cold vanilla ice cream. Oh yes, so they are. Make yes. sure you. And don't forget that. the ready whip. Oh yeah, you can't forget it. <laughs> right, ready whip is always distributed in this particular manner. Scoop, squirt on top, squirt directly in the mouth. Of squirt on top. Squirt on top. <laughs> what about the cores? The beer? No, these are young kids. Cores. They don't drink while Not they're doing cores, these. Not Madam. I'm surprised apple, you apple cores. Because last time I was on here Thursday, we had a master composter, yeah. master oh, yes. gardener yeah. on. So I'm curious to these take them to we some do, hogs or something. Yep, we do save a little bit for the the school does have a, a greenhouse per se. Um, they we do save um, some of the peelings and the cores for that class. Um, and then also, you know, if there's any farms out there that are looking for you know s feed, um, we can definitely hold those and and uh, reserve those for any into individual and they can contact us over at good times at any time and we'll hold those it'd for be them. good to feed your hogs to finish yeah. oh yeah. I, yep. think, yeah I think our uh principal of our school took like the extra apples that we didn't use and like the cores and stuff and he fed them to the deer on yep. his land oh yeah, uh, like, that's pretty cool don't you shouldn't say that <laughs> I shouldn't tell or not the deer not the deer the bird. like his birds actual... he's feeding the birds yes. <laughs> at the deer. that's not permitted in these counties how does someone reach really? you know you with deer? with good times sure you can reach us you know anytime um by uh contacting uh miss cowan uh Haley cowan over at the high school okay. she is our, our director um and you can also contact us at good times um apple dumplings email which is gt dumplings at gmail.com gt dumplings at gmail.com that sounds easy enough mm -hmm. all right aiden so you're not a singer so you're into tech. Mm -hmm. So why are you into tech with the Good Time Show Choir as opposed to something else? Um, I'm not really big of a, like a singer, but I love the group. And my sister was the stage manager uh, her senior year, um, and which was like my eighth grade year. So I've been helping like since then. Mm -hmm. And I just like building like the set and being behind the scenes during like the show and stuff, and like running through cues and lights and stuff. Um, I'm actually a co-stage manager this year, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Do you work with any other entertainment at the school or on your own? Yeah, we uh, um, 
we can't do it this year because they're doing renovations to our auditorium, but normally we run gigs around mm -hmm. the school, which is we run sound and lights um, for like band concerts and like we had a few gospel concerts last year that came and used our auditorium and we just used, mm -hmm. we did like sound and lights for them with like mics and everything. So you've been doing this for about four years now? Yeah. Okay. So has the tech changed with stuff that you guys use over those four or five years? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, our light board is ancient in the auditorium. How do you define ancient as an 18 year old? <laughs> it, it's pretty old. Right. Half of the buttons don't work. Only, okay. only the master works. <laughs> Well, that would be ancient then. Yeah, so uh, do you get to, say, uh, go to whoever you're – I assume you have like a teacher supervisor. Yeah. Do you get to go to them and say, hey, you know what, this board costs this much and would work really, really well. Have you looked into this? I don't, I don't know if she really has a say in it. I mean, I mean, do you have a say in it? I don't think so, no. Uh -huh. well, you better I put your it's... foot down, Aiden. Come on. <laughs> I think it's – kind of like school related um i'm hoping that we'll get new stuff with the new auditorium renovation mm -hmm. but our our soundboard's pretty new like so but the light board don't really need anything else other than the master which is pretty cool so. <laughs> maybe maybe you could have a fundraiser <laughs> so apple sure, dumplings there you go sure. is there a time frame do you know on that auditorium renovation and when good times will be able to be in there and use it um i know they're starting in december um because i know nothing was supposed to be booked in december um i don't i think that goes all the way until the summer so so where do you summer, practice summer of 2025 yes right so how, how do you make how do you make this happen without an auditorium so i think we're going to go to a different school or yep. so the practices will be in our choir room it's very small but we'll be practicing there we're hoping we'll be able to practice in the gyms um as well because we're we're quite a big group mm -hmm. um uh we won't be able to have our festival in march at our school because of the renovation so we'll actually be having it at Musselman Middle School um, so that's new um, so that's going to be nice and interesting so we will have Musselman High School you know competing on their home grounds but mm -hmm. we're happy to use other schools within our system and that they're letting us do that because I know we can be territorial so <laughs> but we're we're very excited and we're very um, happy that Musselman Middle is letting us do this how are the relationships between the different choir uh, bands and groups around Berkeley County? Um, there's definitely that competition. Uh, Muscleman is our biggest competition because it's local. Um, but, you know, th they're such a good group of kids that, you know, they work at the Apollo together. So a lot of them do know each other very well. Um, so it's, you know, the, you can definitely see a little bit of, you know, pecking at each other but they're they're all good very good kids show choir kids it's i would a, it's say it's a lot nicer than football <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't get along so well in football huh? yeah or soccer <laughs> do most of the kids who do show choir do all four years while they're in high school yeah i would say a, a very high percentage is is uh four years uh-huh you, once you're in show choir, you never want to leave. I mean, obviously, he joined show choir because he saw what his sister did and mm -hmm. and had a nice taste for it. So, and that is what a lot of our show choir kids do. Um, there, it's within the family. A lot of return family members uh, join it every year, and even if they don't join, you know, an older sister was a singer. You know, the younger brother may join it for the band. I'm, it, it's it's a lot of repeat family alumni that come back to uh, make their siblings or even cousins. How about uh, how about back. parents? Oh yeah, we see the same parents all the time at all our but all our fundraisers. There, do you have any where the parents did it years ago and the kids do it now? Uh, yeah, we actually do. Um, our vice president on the board, um, she is an alumni of Good Times, uh, at, and as well as our secretary. So they both know it, and they both have multiple kids that have 
are in good times as well. So. All right. So how long do you plan the show that you're going to be doing real soon? How long do you plan for that show? When, when is it decided what the theme will be? Oh, we've already decided the theme. The kids are working on it. Right, but but when, when was, when, when did it you? It will be announced in January. Uh, we'll have a show reveal um, towards the middle of January. I can't remember right, the but, exact But when date. did they decide to do that show? Oh, that oh we yeah. decide. So the choir director and our choreographer decide um probably the year before the the okay. school year before um but the kids don't find out until august. i would say august yep they find august. out in august and then they start they literally start working on it in august hang out we've got a final minute coming up nikki where do we find the apple dumplings or aiden um we're selling them in the Martinsburg High School cafeteria on October 12th from 1 to 6 p.m. Um, and then we're selling from Sunday, October 13th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the same cafeteria. And then we sell them from all the way from Monday, the f October 14th through Friday the 18th. And then we'll come back at to the Apple Harvest Parade and we'll sell them from the 19th to the 20th. Good luck to you guys. Sell a bunch. Thank you. Thank you. Dave Ramsey's show is coming up next. Matt and Matt, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is Talk Radio, WRI Martinsburg and TV 10. We'll talk to you again in 22. Short hour.